Dean, thanks for joining. We've got one game left of the season. Uh, what's preparation been like for it? Yeah, it's been a bright week. Um, you know, we picked up eight points in my last four games. And when you win football matches, at every football club and every football manager, I'll tell you this, uh, it's always bright and breezy after after winning the way we won last week as well. So it's been a good week, nice and positive, and we're looking forward to Sunday. As it, as it is our final game, how would you assess the uh, the season as a whole? I think we've got uh, we've managed to create stability, which is uh, which is a huge word. It's something that hasn't been here for a couple of years. Um, um, we now have been at work for recruitment, realistically for the last sort of like five six months, um, and I think we've done okay uh, without pulling up any trees. Um, but the next step for us now is is how do we uh, sort of reach a sort of seventy five point mark rather than being on a 50 point mark which was the target we set um, for this season how do we gain them extra 25 points and I think that will come from recruitment this summer um, you know I'm, I don't want to put pressure on myself or anybody else but I feel we've had an average season um, and different scenarios different situations haven't helped but everybody's kept going kept plugging away we've had five or six really tough defeats Um and you know they took a little bit of time to get over, but as a whole, like I say, um, when we come in after seven games, and I come in on the caretaker basis, um, you know if you had said to me now we've got fifty points, I would have took that back then. Um, I was thinking we two points from seven games at that stage. So, you know if you look at it over the the whole, um, we've done not too bad, but not exactly what I wanted us to do either. We have had a, a few big wins in, in that time as well, which you must be pleased with, uh, you know, beating Bournemouth here and, and, and Dover beating them 6-0. So, I mean, there are some, some plenty of uh, positives to take from the season, e- even though we're, we're not uh, maybe where, where we would like to be. Yeah, I think a great victory for us was Stockport away. That was probably the best victory we had. Um, and, uh, you know, we that was a horrible evening as well within that victory with Joe Witherston's injury. Um, so and we have had a lot of injuries. Um, I don't want to harp on about that, but we have had some good victories as well. But I thought that was a good. One. I thought we were brilliant at Bournemouth away when we drew nil nil. A little bit unlucky in both cup games. I thought we were very competitive. But in that talk, key was good performances, even though we lost to Halifax. So we have had some positive performances. It's just been consistency of selection that's been a major issue, um, and something we're looking to address, uh, especially the injury situation. We have to make sure our medical department is stronger next year. I know it's a lot of that's down to, some of it's down to look, but we might got to make sure it's stronger and we get people back quicker. Um, Keen Flanagan's a loss for us, Sam Woods is out now, so we've got a lot of players missing. Um, so yeah, look, you know, we know what we need to improve and um, we've identified that and uh, we have had some excellent performances, but we have had a couple where uh, we've got really kicked in the teeth. What what can you tell us about about the summer plans so far? Obviously, you t- touched on re- recruitment and also um, pre seasons uh, not not going to be t- too far away. Yeah, we're back on the twenty seventh of June, um, six week pre season. It's all planned. Everything's done. Uh, every session's planned. Um, we just have to confirm a couple of games in around the nineteenth uh, and the twenty toward of July. They're the only two dates we have to put in place. We just get them confirmed, and. Um, Hopefully, uh, we'll have a solid pre-season. The pre-seasons are very individual. It, it, as much as it's team, especially the first three weeks, it's very individual. Um, and players need a full pre-season. You'll see that most players that have a full pre-season you know, usually have an excellent season. And uh, we need to make sure that on the recruitment basis, we've got as many other players in as possible before that first day of pre-season. We will be patient in the market. You know, we've, we, our research tells us nearly 2,000 players that are contract this summer. Um, so... We've identified who we want, um, we've got plenty of targets, uh, some we won't get, some we will get, um, but it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a challenge in summer, but we're more looking forward to it, uh, it's definitely positive for us, because um, this time last year I wasn't personally at the club, um, there was somebody else in charge, so we have got stability, it's probably the fourth summer uh, for the last couple of years where we're going to have stability and we're going to have clarity going into that, so that's a very positive thing. Having had quite a few you quite a few injuries this season, which has been really frustrating at times. How are we looking to to address that and, and maybe uh, change things in the summer? Yeah, medical department will change, fitness coach will change. Uh, things are going to change in that department. Um, I've had a good chat with, with our chairman about that. So, um, yeah, that will be that will improve one hundred percent. Will improve, um, and you need bits of luck. Look, you can't legislate really for Joe's injury and Keen's injury is having an operation and Sam Woods they've had bad injuries ankle injuries and knee injuries so 
there's not a lot we can do with that but muscle tears and stuff like that yeah we, we need to improve on so um and you've got to remember we lost ga this year ga is a big was a big person around a big personality lots of experience um, so he's a major loss as well. So, look, we've got to get them replaced and uh, and make sure that, that that department is improved. You've spoken about going and beating it in the final five matches, and we're close to doing that. How, how do how do we uh, f- finish the season on a high um, when Bromley come to the hive on uh, on Sunday? We've got to play on the front foot like we have been. Um, I think the boys will play a little bit more freedom. They can sort of see that in our performances. Um, so yeah, look, it's going to be a tough game. There's no doubt Bromley. They're going to be vying for spots because they'll want to play in the cup final, in the FA Trophy final. Congratulate them on getting there. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a difficult game because um, if I was a player in there in, in their ranks, I'd be shown their manager what I can do to, to start at Wembley. So um, and yeah, they, and they've had a great season, Bromley as well. Um, they've done really well at the end of this season. So it's going to be a difficult game. There's no easy games in this division. And obviously, after after the game, will be the, the Player of the Year awards held in Legends um, for, by the Sports Association, and then um, but before that, they'll have the the, the uh, lap of appreciation to, to the fans. And, and I know that that's something you've uh, you've said you really want to be doing, and uh, you feel strongly about. Yeah, togetherness is so important. You won't achieve anything individually in this business. You have to have togetherness, um, and that's that's from from supporters and the most important people at a football club to the players, to the coaching staff, to, to, to the boardroom. So we've got to make sure we continue to create that togetherness. That only comes from honest hard work. And I think they've seen that here, supporters. And we've seen, we, we've appreciated what they've done, travelling down to Weymouth last week, up to Altrincham the week before. You know, and uh, even here, they, they, they've been excellent towards us. Um, so we've got to keep giving them something to sing about. And I'm looking forward to having a little drink with them on, uh, on Sunday evening.